we have Tina Vuorinen, <laughs> probably pronounced that wrong, um, from Avery Denison Smart Track. Um, and she's going to talk to us today about green printing in the digital landscape from fab to mass production. Tina. Thank you. Yeah, almost good afternoon, everyone. Um, so my name is Tina Vuorinen, and I'm the printed electronics and novel materials lead at Avery Denison Smart Track. Uh, uh, quick detail about my background, so I'm closing my fourth year with Avery Denison, but I also have an academic background from my PhD years from printed electronics. <coughs> Today I'm trying to give you a small glimpse into the world of sustainable manufacturing of RFID with this presentation of green printing in the digital landscape from lab to mass production. A uh, quick background story for Avery Denison. So the story of Avery Denison starts, uh, starts, from, the, starts from 1935, from the world's first self-adhesive label that was used to merchandise products. Then Avery Adhesive merged with uh, Denison Manufacturing and Avery Denison was born. From that small company, Avery Denison has grown to a global material science and digital identification solution company. And we have, uh, the slide says 34, but I think the number might be already more than 35,000 people. And we are scattered across 50 countries. Then we come to a year 2020 when Avery uh, acquired the RFID business from SmartTrack and Avery Denison SmartTrack was born, in which we are part of. And um, uh, I'm actually located in one of our R&D sites in Tampere, Finland. Avery Denison business can be divided into two groups. Uh, so we have a materials group, uh, that uh, is involved in the uh, traditional label materials, tapes, and graphical and reflective materials. Then we have the solutions group side, uh, which we are part of. So we are playing in a field of RFID. And our intelligent labels are used to provide things like omnichannel retail, more efficient supply chains, uh, enhanced customer experience, or maybe even reducing waste. Uh, then the digital identification technologies that we are dealing with, um, maybe to point out one, the UHF, that is the biggest player in this team. Then what are we tagging? Um, I would say everything. We have apparel, food, beauty, healthcare, logistics, and, and so on. Uh, apparel is the biggest sector, but in the future, especially the food, is definitely something that we are very interested in. Then the sustainability. Uh, in Avery Denison, we see that the difference needs to be made in several frontiers. Of course, the main goal is the sustainable product, but also there is a corporate social responsibility, meaning that we want to support the communities globally. And in addition to that, the diversity and inclusion needs to be well covered. Probably like everyone else, also we have sustainability goals for the future. And the first one is the delivering innovations that advance the circular economy. This means that our products need to meet the uh, recyclability or reuse requirements that the products that we are tagging are having. Then the second one, reducing the environmental impact. Uh, there can be multiple things, but some that are mentioned here, so the resourcing of sustainable materials, making sure that materials are not ending up in landfills, and then, for example, uh, minimizing the water consumption on, on sites. And finally, uh, making positive social impact. So very rarely uh, someone makes innovations by themselves. 